Alrighty, so today I've had a few requests to make Singapore noodles. So Singapore noodles is actually a, um, it's not a real Asian dish, it's just a stir fried noodle dish that's been modified by the West. So I guess to suit Western taste. So it's basically stir fried noodles, rice noodles. So uh, the version I'm gonna to do today will have obviously rice noodles, I use fresh. Uh, probably most places use dry and soak them in hot water. Uh, egg, bacon, you can use ham, you can use pork, you can use the red pork, it's totally up to you. Uh, bok choy, carrot, coriander, spring onion, garlic, prawns. Now I bought some black tiger prawns uh, from the market the other day, so I'll be using those. Uh, soy, curry powder, sesame seeds, oyster sauce, and fish sauce. So once we get all this stuff sorted, I'll get back to you and we'll, we'll show you the process. Alrighty, so we need to chop up our spring onion. Um, just, just rough, whatever, it's not, it's not that critical. How you do it, pop that there, coriander, the stalk part we're going to stir fry up early, then later on we just cut the rest in. So the leaf and the stalk, uh, garlic chopped up. Again, just rough, however you like the chop, doesn't need to be minute. Pop that on there. Bok choy, we're just going to cut that probably on an angle because it looks a bit better. You can cut as thin as you can. So, so with the carrots, I have a machine for mandolin, which will make julienne perfect. But I'm not going to get that out today. I'm going to show you how to do it just by hand. So carrots being washed but not peeled. I prefer to leave the skin on. So just cut as thin as you can. Carefully fingers. That's probably enough carrot. So it's, it's roughly half a carrot, but it doesn't have to be. It's, it's totally up to you what you like to put in it. And then that's too long. So we're just going to do it on a slight, slight angle to make them a little bit shorter. But a crossways is too short. So there's your julienne carrot. So pretty straightforward. Bacon. Ham, pork, if it's pork and it's raw, you need to obviously cook it first. So, I just had bacon left in the fridge. I probably would have used ham, but I didn't have any. You can use salami if you want it, it's up to you. It's been bastardised by the West anyway, so what does it matter? All right, prawns. Now these black prawns, the black tigers, the heads are a bit dark. Don't worry, they're still fine. They're only a couple of days off, so. We need to peel these, so the best way is just to take all the legs off, spin them around. If you get half the shell, just squeeze there and it just pulls out. Alright, so to get out the, the vein, just put a toothpick or something in the body and just pull it out. So I'll do one more and show you and then I'll, I'll just do the rest off camera. So break the head off, take off the legs. about half the body of shell, it's usually enough. Squeeze the tail, and it just comes off. Then with a toothpick or a end, sharp end of a knife, poke into the, the backbone. They don't have a bone, but that's what people call it. Then just pull out the vein. Easy done. All right, um, and then once I've done these, I'm gonna cut them up, sort of in small pieces like that. So, Basically about that big. But I'll do that and I'll get back to you when I'm ready to do the frying process. Alrighty, so now we've got this block nice and hot. We've put probably two or three tablespoons of oil in. Uh, don't put salt first because it might not need it. So a few of these ingredients are quite salty. So first thing we're going to do is pop the egg in. It's, it's very similar the process of fried rice. Pop it 
chuck in your prawn. You probably, I'll make enough for two. You probably need about three prawns per person. It's enough. Uh, I, I've probably had a little more than that, but it's up to you. That's, that's just what I had left from another dish I was doing. Those prawns are in. Add your bacon. If you're using raw pork, you would put the pork in first. You'd actually take the egg out and then put the raw ingredients in. Garlic. This is, you actually don't want to overcook the prawns. Uh, they're way much, they're, they're way better when they're slightly undercooked. Now we add the carrot. So basically just cooking this all together. Then we add a little curry powder. Not too much. So maybe by a quarter of a teaspoon, if that. So with the two people, a good pinch is probably a better description. Now we need to put some salsh in wine. So this is a little bit sweet, this wine. So you see, you can, you can hear how much heat's come out of that wine already. A little bit of fish sauce. A couple of shakes, not too much. Some oyster sauce. Maybe two teaspoons. A little bit of soy, probably a teaspoon or two. All these ingredients I'm using are gluten free. Pop the noodles in. You can soak these in hot water for a minute or so first, and they'll be very soft. But I like the noodles a little bit al dente, so I'm going to um, put them in like this. Just mix them up. The problem with stir frying the noodles that have been soaked, the fresh noodles I'm talking about, the dry ones you, you do need to soak, but the fresh ones is they tend to break up once you stir fry them if they've been soaked in water. So you can see they're starting to soften up now. Now because I've put them in not soaked, I'm going to add a little bit of water. So maybe, uh, I don't know, a quarter of a cup. Let's start to come on nicely.
it's just a little bit low mark. Okay, we'll plate it up and we'll get back to you. Okay, we'll plate it up. There's enough for two there. We'll just put a little bit of uh, coriander. And some more sesame seeds, just sprinkle for garnish. Now, obviously, if people are allergic to nuts or sesame, we're not putting uh, we're not putting sesame seeds in it. Um, well, there you go, perfect lunch. Enough for two people, costs hardly anything. Have a go at it and enjoy. I hope you got something out of this video.